We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. This episode of Cop Block is brought to you by Freekeen.com. We're just getting down to uh, Zagati Park, Liberty Plaza. Uh, we're on the periphery right now on the north side, so I know when I was like not here the first time, I, I was like wondering what the layout was. Uh, pretty much, you know, we're in Lower Manhattan, the uh, former side of World Trade Centers are just a couple blocks northwest of here, but the uh, park behind us, I don't, you'll, you'll be able to see in a second walk over there, but it looks pretty full of folks, so uh, we're just going to roll over there, do some outreach, uh, maybe move some gear and uh, share ideas, maybe try to do some interactions with, with everybody, but we'll, uh, we'll walk in and we'll see what as a decentralized organization, it's just a... What does that mean? Well, that means there is no hierarchy, there is no leader, it is a How place... Does that work? How What's that? How does that work? Well, it works really easy. People can submit stories, people take videos, whatever action you think we should take in order to have police accountability, you share it at the website, and then the, the viewers, readers, they might critique you, they might support you, they might take your tactics and implement them in something of theirs, and essentially it'll evolve, you know? Policing today is a major issue, and I think bringing it to the table is you the best are like Taro, but not the cops. You want to watch some free stickers? Copblock.org, police accountability website. Why do you come out every day? Well, I come out every day because uh, I think people need to be uh, treated fairly and justly. And uh, you know, stop, you know, everybody needs to stop playing those, those games. You know, like, you know, stop being slaves to, uh, to, to everybody, to the banks, to the corporations, to the Congress. You guys want some stickers? Yeah, hit these guys up if you uh, get any police brutality or harassment videos at all. Put them on public places if you like. No problem. Spread the word. My main reason for being out here would be to try and get campaign finance reform happening in America. The fact that all corporations have bought and paid for every one of our politicians in this country is just appalling to me. Whether they're a Democrat or a Republican, they're in somebody's pocket and it's not mine. I would like to see someone of my financial stature actually able to run for Senate and maybe even hold that seat to represent my interests and the common working man's interests. It's pretty cool to see a lot of different diverse folks here, a lot of different ideas, but you know, for most people in agreement, the stuff's not going right. And my question to them is, you know, what, what's the next step and how do we get here to prevent it from happening again? So, you know, we're just going around having conversations, advocating for self-government, trying to get people to think, you know, hear what they have to share as well and just see what we can do. So. And I am here to protest the crimes committed by the finance industry. I believe that we've created a system where we have rewarded bad behavior, we've rewarded risk, we've rewarded fraud, and I don't agree with that. I can't be okay with that. Freecoplock.org stickers. Hang them up if you'd like around town. Here you go, man. You guys like one? Um, I mean, I think that the resources and the money that's being spent could be allocated elsewhere. There are probably more violent or severe crimes taking place in New York City right now that this, you know, energy could be allocated towards. Thank you. You guys are like the opposite of Taru, which is really awesome. Awesome. Thank you. I just want to say, what I think about this whole movement is this, this is the collective consciousness of people wanting to change the world. And I think um, this is the beginning of it. People want to, want to see the world change for the better. This corruption in this country cannot continue. And um, I, I just want to say that that's what I believe is what we're seeing, the beginning of. So I can, yeah, change is coming. And uh, again, I'm here with, with the brothers from uh, cop, copblock.org. Check it out, peace. What would you say? I did see so many videos when you guys get the cop the hard time. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, it's just awesome, dude. You know, you guys know it. I was pretty impressed, actually. The, the crowd was um, very receptive, um, obviously. But, um, you know, everybody in the crowd has different angles, different... Um, but one, one thing that seems to be common is the cop angle. Everybody seems to really gravitate. I don't think we got a negative response. So that's why Cop Block, you know, continues to be one of my favorite avenues to get people into the liberty uh, mindset. I mean, a direct... Free Cop Block stickers, police accountability. Hang them around if you'd like. Contact the website if you have any police issues. What I get out of this is a lot of people pissed about money that they don't have, and that's 
why they're here. You know, I People say, you know, there's just 99%, but my question to them is how do we get here and how do we how do we prevent it from happening again? You know, why did we get here and like what are the what are the best uh, next steps instead of just saying, well, let's get together and say what's going on today sucks, which, you know, I wish that the message would be a little more principled. Everyone wants to fix banking or end this or you know, devour the Fed. Um, but at the end of the day, all these problems that they have linked together, they're all caused by government to some form or degree. And if they wouldn't be completely solved by the abol by abolishing government, they would be uh, greatly uh, reduce the severity of the issues and how they affect people if you would just abolish the government. So maybe I think, you know, if, if I could get into the General Assembly or maybe I had the guts, uh, I would uh, recommend that you know, the one standing order would be, hey, let's all stop paying taxes. Let's all do what we want to do with our lives, as long as we don't initiate force on other, and it'd be a lot better. So, uh, all in all, I think it's great, it's positive, it's the start of something amazing, but well, hopefully we can get that last hump of realizing that the government is the problem, and ending the government is the solution. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I'm ready, I'm ready. For the typically cyclical simple civil obedience. 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 I'm a man with a company. I mean, uh, government sucks, so... Pretty much that sums it up.